Hi guys, Cory from Aquarium Co-op. Today I want to talk to you about Black Neon Tetras. Now first, I'm just going to tell you, the more you have, the more awesome they're going to be. Everyone always says that with schooling fish, but let me show you why. If I spin around here. So look at these Black Neon Tetras. I'm far away from the tank at the moment, but look at them schooling. They actually are doing their behavior and schooling around as opposed to, you know, just doing, sitting there. And that's what schooling fish do when you have them in a large quantity. Yes, there's like a hundred or more in there. Yes, you should keep them in big schools. But when people say six is the bare minimum, we're just trying to keep them alive. This fish, super duper hardy. They tend to be cheap at a couple bucks to three bucks. They do get a little bit larger, which is nice. So they tend not to get eaten by angelfish and stuff like that. They can be interactive in bigger groups, you know. So they will school around and do their thing. They actually look good against the planted background because they've got the black and that stripe across them. They tend to stand out really well. This is one of my favorite, favorite fish. If you have a big tank, like let's say you've got a 180 gallon tank and you need to get a good schooling fish going in there that's hardy, do it with these. Or let's say you want to mix these with uh, geophagus or other decent sized cichlids that aren't super aggressive. These work out amazing. Other angels, stuff like that. These are, in my opinion, an unsung hero. Uh, they've got that nice little red eye. They'll tolerate a huge amount of difference in water parameters. You know, I would say in general, keep them neutral, keep neutral hardness, and keep them roughly at 78. But they'll tolerate a huge range on either side and temperature and hardness. They're just one of the hardiest fish. If I was to recommend a fish you're starting an aquarium with, these guys are them. Super duper hardy. They ship really well in case you have to ship them in. They're easy to find. They're not a rare fish. Most stores will carry them because they know they're super hardy and they do well. So, uh, yeah, the black neon, keep them in big groups, six at the bare minimum, but do yourself a favor and go ahead and get 10 or 12 or 15 of them and really enjoy them and get their schooling behavior working for you and uh, just feed them flake food and frozen food like cyclops and bloodworms and anything, they, they'll eat almost anything. They mostly want to eat off the top of the water or mid water. Uh, off the bottom they'll do it if they're really hungry but we don't really want to force them to do that. So there you go, the black neon tetra. Just wanted to show you what they do in a big school and give you a reason why we always say the more you have, the more you will enjoy this fish. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you want to see more videos or educational, whether it's about species or plants uh, or how to make something, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.